I think these are the roommate type issues yeah. that cause dissension and people just get like, and they, be, we get, man, but humans are so particular, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a bag, bro. Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in a big lease. Yeah, I told him I'm ahead of the stands. I deserve another hundred. Welcome to another episode of the Merry Game Podcast, where the voice you trust when it comes to lust and we are who you hire when she lacks desire. My new green shirt makes me look burly, but let's not distract ourselves from thy lovely lady whose hair is curly. It's wavy, actually, so the whole thing was wrong. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay. And what's burly mean? Burly is like buff, like just burly, like just can handle some shit. I only know burly in like a Mexican way. Like I only burly went here. <laughs> just burly went here. <laughs> <laughs> Harkening back to your heritage, my love. Yeah. Oh, man. The that's so fun. Montel Jordan's from mine. Well, I, I know that people, when, they, when it comes to the episode, they don't want it to end. Hmm. But we did something this last weekend with my brothers. From the Ascend. Wow. <laughs> it was a good time. Yes. We had a really good time. You are a hit with my friends. Thank you. I need to know where you learned this. Your ability to lovingly share with men where they might be a tad off and yet show them the way is pretty fucking remarkable. and. Actually, I don't know that I've ever met another woman to be able to do it like you, like not even a close second. Like, does it come across naggy from women? Is that why? Like um, naggy or like, you should do this better. Yeah. It, like school marm? There is a, it's not so much school marm, but it's more like, a, it is like a you should. Whereas you seem to have a gentle touch of like, what are your thoughts about? Hmm. And tell me a little bit, like there's almost this angle that you take and I've watched you do it with our one-on-one -on -one clients. I watch you do it with our clients in, in our group settings. And I've watched, I watch you do it here live. Mm. And I'm thinking that if you can, we can decode how you do this, I might be able to share with the guys that they might be able to communicate with their wives. Oh. Hey, you know, a way that's really effective for me is when you share it with me this way or this way or this way. Because... Mm -hmm. Remember how I've always given the concept that women, they don't know what they're attracted to. And they might be able to look back and connect some dots, but they don't right. actually know what they're mm -hmm. attracted to, like instinctually. Mm -hmm. I don't know that a lot of guys know how to say how they want to be communicated. Oh. And maybe they don't, they haven't even processed or thought, maybe I could teach my wife mm -hmm. how to communicate with me. That's good. Yeah. I like how you did that. The switcheroo. That's, you know, that's one of my superpowers. Yeah. Is, okay, so if the, if I feel this way in our relationship. She must in this way. How do I, like. The, how do you she, yeah, relate it? People don't it. just make shit up. Mm -hmm. So how does it happen? Do, I will have some questions for you. Yeah. So we're going to have, we're going to interview Jesse Joy today. I like it. <laughs> yeah. It's. Because I have some thoughts. Yeah. Well, what, what like, are what, your, what are your thoughts coming up for you right now that like are just. Just off the top of my head. Well, okay, I'll, I try to um, empathize mm. and I try to say that like he, that person's done this and I've done this, like no judgment. There's no judgment in there because my sin that I've done doesn't make your sin any less or better or vice versa, right? Like you choose this sin, I choose this sin. We like we all make mistakes, so there's no judgment in there. Um, I'm not shocked by anything, so I say pretty calm. I think that's a good thing, and I I give a little humility in there because you know you've been because I've been through a lot of shit. Yeah. So when they say this, I'm like, that's okay. People make mistakes. There's no judgment, and this is what I've done. Or this is how I've resolved that issue myself. It, you're, were you different in your 20s than now uh, in your later 30s? Uh, 100%. And I hopefully am different in my 40s. Yeah. But different in the way where in my 20s, I was like stubborn, right? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stand for this. I'm not, not doing this. I'm gonna raise my kid this way. And like, I know we all see the memes like joking, like in, before kids, I said I was gonna raise my kids like this. Mm -hmm. And then you have kids and you're like, oh, fuck, here's your iPad, basically. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. 
it, of course I was different and it, and it takes a lot of error to, to know my way. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, why was I on my high horse? Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. I, I see you with the guys, like some of my close friends, when we'd had the Ascent Brotherhood, mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't hardly ever drink alcohol. It's like something, I don't even like desire it. And I like when you do a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you do. So well, I think you, you do it for me, basically. And, but I, I forget how warm and loose my shoulders feel. Oh, yeah. And how excited I feel. Oh, yeah. And so I was having some espresso martinis with the guys. We did the private beach club, Mm -hmm. 15 dudes coming down. Then the wives join us in the evening. And you, I'm hanging, I'm talking to my buddy Taylor Welch, who I love. We all love him. And he gives me a zin mm-hmm. and it's, uh, it's nicotine. I love this story. It's so funny. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the zin thing, just trying to feel like maybe it'll make me a little more alert because I hear that's why guys do it. And as I take it out, I throw it over and then I put another one in. And within about five to 10 minutes, I start feeling like really woozy. Yeah. And like I had drank too much. Like, whoop. And my stomach. You can yeah. feel it. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm, I am such a professional in terms of cannabis. And alcohol, like just yeah, you hardly get hung over at ride, all. I just ride the yeah. I ride the vibe, man. And I was like, dude, I just jumped into the deep end with no floaties. What is going on so right now? So naive. I was like, oh, poor baby. So I walk outside. I go, guys, I gotta lay down. I I had to lay down, and I'm laying down. And you're in there just having the time of your life with yeah. the guys, and they're asking you questions. But it's not like they're asking married game questions. They're no. asking like about you and yeah. then you were asking about them yeah. and just it feels so good as a partner to know that even if I had to step out for 30 minutes or an hour and try, try and figure out what the hell was going on yeah that you're in there just that the party just kept rolling yeah and you're so good of a host like that oh thank you and it was almost all dudes mm-hmm. and like maybe six or seven wives and mm-hmm. like 15 20 guys and you just handled it and so it's like it was like just this another situation where nothing faced you yeah. Well, I felt the need to step up because I was like, the, you know, these these are the guys. This is the ascend. This is like our thing, mm-hmm. and I'm your partner, right? So I felt like I, I carried them, and but it was exciting for me. Yeah. Yeah. And they all love it. Yeah, it was fun. I wonder if another reason why you're 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 good with making gentlemen like see the air of their ways. And I, I even think you might even better be better with other guys than even you are with me. Well, I, t- I don't have, you know, a history of fighting and resentment. I don't know the way their shit smells yeah. as I do yours, right? Yeah. Basically. I'm not saying you're bad with me. I'm no. just saying like, but I, I... That's exactly what I was about to say too, is like, I compliment them. I'm lifting them up. I'm like, no, you're so good at this. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not like that with you all the time. Yeah. Like, I'm silent in the morning. I'm quiet, you know, like, or I've had a day. Like, you smell my bullshit, too. Mm. So I'm really good with, and, and I know it's, like, more of, like, a work environment. So, like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm positive. I'm excited. I yeah. come in, like, ready to go. Yeah, but even when we're not in, quote, unquote, work environment with my buddies, like mm-hmm. Garrett and some of these other guys, you, you're just so straightforward with them. But in, there's, it's, like, you punch them, but mm. it's like you're putting the 16 ounce gloves on, so they know they got hit. But they're like, "But I'm not knocked out." <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I think it's such a skill. I think I like what you said about the empathy, mm-hmm. because a, I think what I have noticed as a guy, anytime you maybe are wanting me to know that my actions or behaviors aren't exactly like thrilling to you, mm-hmm. a guy wants to know that there's grace. Mm-hmm. Does a woman feel the same way? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rather than you always, you're always, this is you cast in stone. It's mm-hmm. just, hey, these actions aren't my favorite. Yeah. These aren't things that like, like really double thrill me. Mm-hmm. I think that is something that we've had to grow into as well, mm-hmm. is maybe talk more about the actions, not how they made me feel, but just, hey, I don't particularly like them. Because I think when we say, this is how you made me feel this way, it's almost like, you're putting it off on them. Yeah, as yeah. opposed to, I just don't like that. Like, this is just who I am, and I don't yeah. want to live, like, that way. Yeah, I don't specific. like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like when you do that. Mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know I don't like Now, you get to choose, I guess, to, to determine whether you do that or not. We also have another situation. We People hire us to get their exes back. Mm-hmm. And I got Boy, a question. I love that one. 
Why? Because that's when the biggest growth happened for us mm. individually and together. Yeah. And that was a situation I never really been through. Only with you. Mm. You know, once like when you're younger, you're like I said, in your twenties, you're like, I'm not gonna stand for that. I'm cutting him off and you never talk to him again, you know. But I think we were what was I, twenty seven when we went through that and got back together. No. Yeah, well, well was that, was the, that was the that was first time, but the second right, time. 31. You're 30, 31. You had, it, there was a little more experience. You had a, yeah, you had a daughter. A, yeah, there you go. So that comes with age and growth and grace. Yeah. This, Yeah. we're both looking good, so we get a lot of glances, but will you tell me a little bit more about your thoughts on second chances? Wow. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> Um, I've got a lot if, of rhymes today, apparently. Yeah. If I see, I love second and third chances is because we're human. And I always say that. And we're all, and we're going to mess up again. Like we just are. But when you see that they're genuinely like, sorry, and that it hurt them so much to hurt you, you see the growth. You're like, okay, I can forgive that. But if you don't see that, then you're like, well, then what the fuck are we doing here? You don't even want to try? Like that hurt me. Hmm. So... It's when I see the growth happen because I know that won't happen again. I can see that you're genuinely like feel bad about whatever had happened or you're like the light bulb went off in that scenario. You're like, dang, why was I treating you like that? I mean, like our even water bottle story, right? Hmm. Which is so exciting because you're like, that won't happen again. Yeah. Once you see the light yeah. bulb go on for them, you realize, oh, they got it now. Because when we fight, I'm like, this, this is going to happen again because this is what we fought about before. Hmm. And it's frustrating because you're like, how many times am I going to deal with that? But when you see like that little like, oh, my God, how can I have ever done that? You see it in their perspective. Mm -hmm. You're like, yes, we're not ever going to fight about that again. I mean, it could be different or in a different scenario, but somewhat. But it just won't be that again. That's yeah. exciting. Like you've seen, you had to have seen these things. I got to imagine that women get exasperated. We had a, I had a, a situation on one of our coaching calls this morning where the kids weren't necessarily listening and coming to mealtime that was already prepared and laid out from them. And the mom wanted them to get it done for a particular reason. And it got real chaotic. And next thing you know, she's bitching and moaning and carrying on. And uh, she didn't really want his help, whatever. And so he's like, fine, fuck it. I'm out of here. And he left. Oof. Yeah. And walked upstairs and I said, he goes, w w he, he's brand new on the program. So he's just learning, yeah. learning the things. It sounds as if. <laughs> and he goes, what's your thoughts on this? I said, it seemed like to me that maybe you, anytime you lose your emotional control, you lose. And when things got chaotic, because you lost your emotional control, she realized she couldn't trust you. And if things get hot, you bail. Mm -hmm. Is that how you would have read that based on what I said? Absolutely. And then you know what she's feeling in that? You said, I can't trust you. So she's like, I'm not giving you it. No, I got it. I got it. I'll, and then the next time, I'll, I got it. I got it. And mm. then just get farther and farther apart. That's how women say that. Mm. It's because they didn't, whatever, didn't, like he, like you said, he lost control. So she doesn't want to deal with his pouty attitude also. Why don't women, when a guy steps up to do a chore or help, why don't they let him do it? Why do they have to like micromanage how he does it? And, and, and pick apart how he does it. I'm not saying you do this. I do do it sometimes. No, but not all the time. No, sometimes. But a lot of women do do this. What, it's because, well, if I gave you a little advice to do mm -hmm. something maybe a little better that I've done a million times, you've done a hundred. Mm -hmm. Why won't you take that advice? Why what, does your ego get in the way of that? But why does, a, if he's done it a hundred times, he clearly knows what he's doing. Why does he need advice? Um, where does that where does that desire to talk about that come from? It's like you, I, let me get. I've been through all the ups downs. I've done it this way or that way. I found the best way. Why? How come men don't take that advice? Like, I'll oh, give, I can see that's a good way. I'll give you the best example. Yeah, I've I've heard some of the guys talk about this. Like loading the dishwasher. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking about is our dishes because that's oh, the okay. only time I've said something really. Mm. And you just started doing yours. What? Six months ago. Mm -hmm. What does, but what is like, if he does, the, if a guy loads the dishwasher and it's not exactly perfect, yeah. 
why do women feel like they have to say something? I'm just, I'm genuinely yeah, curious. I know. You're actually, <laughs> I know re you you're are. really good at this, but I, because like when you're loading it, you're not going to get maximum dish in there. Right. Yeah. And I like to load it up before I get it. So I know where the dishes fit. Like we have these funky plates that I love, but they don't really fit in the dishwasher. Yeah. But if you put them on this one side, I can get more in there. Yeah. So what I'm just letting you know, like what, what a woman thinks. I'm just talking out loud. Yeah. Not hurting your ego. No. Why, but why do men take it like the, it hurts their ego, though? I want to know that. I'm uh, genuinely asking. Because they're just like, hey, I, I got it. I want to do it for you. Yeah. I, want to, I want to serve you. I want to mm -hmm. do something that would be a blessing to you. And rather than you go, thank you for the gift, but you wrapped it wrong, is kind of the, the vibe. Like, yeah. oh, this is a really good gift, except you should have made the wrapping paper tighter and I would have put the bow over here. And it's like, huh? But in, That's what in it terms like. of the dishes, I'm you specifically didn't really answer. Is like, why does your ego get in the way of me trying to just help? I'm telling you why, because that's how it feels. Yeah, just not good enough. Um, like you can't. You're not receiving. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to give you a gift of like, oh, I'll do this. Yeah. Like, yeah, but it needs to be done. Yeah, because women will stop you, or they'll let you do it and then fix it later. Yeah, but I'm saying the the the. Why can't they just receive like, okay, I'll just receive the gift as a gift. I think there's obviously it's something like, that they've done more times than you. So they just know a better way and they want it done that way. I, I, but the, the, I'm, I think we're both not really like answering specifically too, because I can't, I no, can't give you a full answer. You're like, answering it exactly in the energy of why a guy feels this way. Yeah. That, but that's our thoughts. Why can't they let it go though? Why yeah. can't they just go, wow, this guy's helping me yeah well thank you yeah even if it's not done because it's not done right or wrong nobody's right or wrong in that about the little discussion we had about the dishes mm -hmm. i feel like specifically the dishes weren't going to get cleaned properly with the soap so it doesn't get off all the germs mm. then you dry it and put it away and then i don't know where that knife is mm. and i'm like now that one for me, cleanliness, right? Like when you come home from the gym, I'm like, oh, your hands, like wash your hands. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. So I have an issue with cleanliness. Mm. That's specifically what I was thinking in our scenario. I don't even remember. What, I don't even have a specific scenario you in my hands. You put the soap in the thing, not on the rag. And I just felt like the soap wasn't going to get all the germs off on the knife. Oh, got it. And then you dry it instantly and you put it away because you don't want it sitting out. Mm. I appreciate the fact that you do that. I just wanted a clean knife. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's what a guy. I do remember this. I didn't remember that situation. When I was bringing yeah. it up, and I remember it now. Um, it's like, yeah, but it, but I, I did clean it. I just didn't do it exactly the steps you thought it was supposed to mm -hmm. be done in. But there, were, if we had a hundred people there, where they go, hey, would that knife be clean? And they'd be like, yeah, it's clean. But it wasn't clean because you know how like men bachelors like just wipe the fork. And yeah, put yeah, it away. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I that's what like, you, that's what you thought was happening. That, yeah, I wanted the soap on the knife Got to it. get rid of the germs. But if the soap went in the plate, in the water, and then the knife went into the soapy water, and then it got rinsed. Yeah, I didn't feel like that was enough soap. So okay. I said something. So, but this is, this is, this is what I'm saying, though. Mm -hmm. How could a man not feel like his wife is, like, trying to neuter him when if, you Like, do let's that? try to turn the pages, right? If, let's say, something that you do better than I. I would want you to tell me the way you have learned. And this is just who I am. Mm. So I don't have to make the mistakes. You've mm. already made them. But what if he doesn't deem it better? And he's like, oh, thank you for your opinion. That's not how I do it, but I might yeah. keep doing it. Would, would you? Have well, I don't know. Ask yourself that because you tell me things in reverse just like that. Like what? Um, like I can't really think of something because I've been trying to think of one. But I know you do that too. And I'm like, okay. Hmm. So that's I, why I'm wondering hope, why you can't take it. I hope, well, dude, I need to know the answer now. That's I don't know. That's beautiful. I, I like when you tell me things. I don't want to make a mistake. If mm. you already know, tell me. Wow. If you know something better than me, I would like you to tell me. So I can learn. Yeah. What if it's not something I do better than you and you don't think I do it better than you? I just do it different than you. I think you. that's where your ego comes in the way. Well, I'm saying, what if I it, think I do the dishes better than you? Yeah. 
why wouldn't I? I do them three times a day for 12 years straight. You just started six months ago. Let's do the math. You're the math guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, of course but I do I'm, No, better. I'm saying if I was to tell you to do something better, do you ever just think, is it better or is it just a different mm -hmm. way? I just think it's better. I just trust you in that because that's hmm. something you've done more than me. It's interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. I, I hope you come up with an analogy. I, I really hope you come want up with to that. now. So next week, I'm guys, really gonna next week we're going to have an, the answer of what does Keith do that tells you something. So I want to know. Yeah. I think this was God, fun my mind is like fucking going crazy right now. I bet people fight over this all the time. It's, the it's, dishes. It's, I don't want to say it's the toilet paper folding over or folding under way, but it's kind of, it's kind well, it's always on the top. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying like I I don't I think that might be the issue. Mm -hmm. It's those types of little things that happen. Yeah, they're where annoying. Where they're like, what the hell? But either I'm gonna get mad or you're gonna get mad in those scenarios, and and it's so stupid. Why? Yeah, I wonder. But if you get to the truth, right? Yeah, let's just get to the truth. What is the truth on the toilet paper one? There is no truth. Well, we agree, so that one's good. Yeah, but I'm saying the let's dishes, say we then. don't. If I walk in there and it's going under, just go, oh, Jesse filled the role last time. Cool. And if I walk under there and, goes, and it's going over, you go, oh, he's just, I know yeah. you don't agree so with that. So about the dishes, I'm yeah. not going to say a word and just let dirty dishes be in there then. Yeah. Got it. Like with the dishes too, I'm, I'm a little OCD. I do the forks, spoons, knives, and no one does that. Yeah. Nobody organizes them. And I put them away, so I want them organized. Yeah. I fix them. Every single time I open that dishwasher. <laughs> Why can't you guys put them where I put them? Ah, uh, that's so funny. That's actually a better analogy. So than I see, I've ever I see heard. you guys just throwing them in. Yeah, I just fix it and don't say a word. Yeah, and then I'm like, I think to myself, they see that I do this. Yeah, and they don't do anything about it, does and it, I'm not going to say anything. Does it build resentment for you a little bit? No, no, I've learned to let that shit go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Because that's It's not worth it to me. Because that was not a right or wrong. It's just... It's, it's just, just my preference. Preference. But you live in the house with me with my preference. I yeah. just don't understand why you don't do that. Yeah. And I the girls don't do it either. I they don't care. I think if you asked me to do that, I probably would. Have you asked me? No. Remember we had that little fight of asking you to clean out the sink and your ego wanted to get in the way. But I, but I said yes. But you, it, you, you said, okay. But if I ask you something else because you already, it was tippy, I don't want to push it. But we've talked about that on the podcast about why I do the sink now. Because so now will you do the forks and the spoons? If I'm not the one unloading. In front of everyone? Yeah. You're not going to get in the way. Dude, if you have a particular way because it's easier to unload them. It really is. And yeah. me just being conscious about which hole it goes in. <laughs> oh, me just being Are you conscious, conscious of that anyway. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, wrong hole. Hey, uh, I, not if you, today, if you, sir. Yeah, that I would prefer to. I'm not the one who ever empties them. Yeah, so nobody does. I would prefer to be. Hey, if this is a particular style that you like because yeah. it's better for you, mm -hmm. the answer is a hundred percent yes. You heard it, folks. You, you heard, heard it. it here. You yeah. heard it. But these, I, I think these are the roommate type issues yeah. that cause dissension and people just get like and they be, we get man but humans are so particular aren't they mm -hmm. about I certain know, things about certain things mm -hmm. they really get gosh we get particular huh and i know that the dishwasher is a particular thing for people i i don't even care i know i don't even care i just is it in there you just started doing your dishes i know you don't i do care. my dish yeah yeah, have, your dish. I have one Sometimes dish. Sometimes you do mine, and I'm like, oh, shit, that's cool. Yeah, if they're all laying there, I'm, I'll just dry them and put yeah, them away. Yeah, still not sometimes, and that yeah. baffles me, too. Just sometimes? It depends on how much time I have. That's fair. Yeah. That's so fair. If I'm, like, if, I'm, if I've come home from work, and we're just hanging around, yeah. and you and I are chatting, and I see like there's stuff there, yeah. I would rather just clean it there while I'm talking to you and put it all the way because here we are. If I'm not going to do it, you're going to do it. And we, we want to get hang out on the couch anyway. Oh, yeah. So I'd rather just do it. But if I'm like, hey, I got to get going to something. Yeah. Then no, I'll, I'll just, take your dish. I I'll do, but no, but I'm saying I have enough time to do my thing, but I don't have enough time to do the rest. Mm. Then I want to go. So that's why sometimes How I do How do I tell my, teenagers that then? Well, we're going to have to sit them down and just tell <laughs> yeah. them, yo, hey. Because that baffles me. Yeah. They just do theirs and there's like a Three other ones. I'm like, uh, okay. I think that's a carry your own weight thing. They must think, I always just assume whoever's put their stuff there, this is my honest yeah. opinion. I go, oh, 
I don't think carry their weight. Oh, me. I don't have time sometimes. Yeah. Like I'm so in a rush sometimes. That's what I, 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 that's. If not, I'll do it. I just go, I wonder why, why am I the only one who puts their stuff back? You're not, but I do my. But in time. Yeah. Well, guys, there you have it. <laughs> Husband and wife shit. Yeah, it's, um, you know, let me see. Oh, perfect. So if you're going to go into the lake, you're probably going to see toads and frogs and fishes. Okay. But this episode, oh, gosh. my friend, is about how to wash the dishes. <laughs> I don't know how you think of that, like. Two seconds. I when just you need... say um, you've come up with a whole rhyme. <laughs> I just need to know one word. Yeah, and it just flows out. If I if I'm thinking, you oh, we write just, jingles. We've <laughs> we've Make been thinking we've jingles. been thinking about dishes and talking about dishes this whole time. Fishes. So I'm like fishes. Oh, I should have said wishes. Yeah. Um, but I didn't. Your wife wants some wishes. <laughs> do the dishes i don't know so you're last, way better well it's just last week and we had jonathan hike and we asked him you know for his birthday did he have any wishes wow that's but that's not a problem because today we talked about how to do the dishes jesse joy you're a pleasure you're Namaste. really good at a lot of things oh you just love me today i do love you today yeah, that's but it. you're actually really good at a lot of it's things we, mm -hmm, today you're well in that's love. that happens a lot and i'm still <laughs> in love with you so hey listen don't be a nerd spread the word let people know send this to a guy that's like hey dude you should hear this couple talk about how they fight sometimes about dishes but ultimately if you are the man that's in a relationship and you're frustrated. You're a powerful businessman. You have kids. You're married. And you're like, dude, what the fuck happened? I Things used to be so good. And now they are so not good. I know the temptation is to think that it's your wife's fault. But I would have you consider that of the 300 and now almost 75 guys that have come through our program, 95% of them have been the man's fault. Bum, bum, bum. And that's probably you. So it's good to take a look. Have some introspection. And uh, as always, go to marriedgame.com. Keep crushing it. That shit is contagious.